We now return to Let's Play God of Blades. The final campaign, the Armageddon Throne. The Gates of Dith. Once a seat of learning, the tomb city of Dith fell into ruin during the final days of the cult's rise. Now it serves as the throne of the Sable King. Malevolent forces stir at your approach. Clearly, you are not expected. Let's give Whisper a try. Again. Oh yes, this level has another mechanic. Where if you break those statues, you get a warrior to run off and uh, do damage. Unfortunately, just like all damage dealing little extras, sort of ruins the pacing. So you basically just have to sit here and, and spam. Oh, I missed that one completely. Have at you. Thank you for that. I didn't used to have a problem with the sorcerers. Whoa, we just stopped. I think that's because we were pushing towards Katan the Masher, wielder of Coal Peak. These bosses are randomly generated, at least in, in names and uh, the names of their swords. They are different. Come a little closer, bastard. Not that close. We might get that final sword by the time I get to the end of this game, maybe. The Tomb City's captives. Your incursion into Dith weakens the Sable King's hold on the innocent souls trapped within. Aided by the released spirits, you push deeper into the cult's stronghold. I don't know, I kind of liked Whisper, but let's go back to Inferna. Because between the two, my fireballs and these released spirits, I should be able to kill a lot of these guys without even actually getting into combat with them. Oh god. The game has a way of making me eat my words. Block, damn it! Okay, fine. Fireball for you, and just get the fuck out of my way. I missed that one. That would have been good to have. Okay, seriously? You can stop that anytime. I need more of those. Flinging guys up into the air. Okay, that's enough of that. Well, I'm probably not going to survive this. Zerk of the Pit, wielder of Lung Wrecker. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Let us go back to Whisper. I think I was doing pretty well with this sword, actually. 
It's very responsive. It also seems to be doing a lot more damage than Inferna as well, which is weird. That's enough out of you. I missed that one. Oh, wow. I almost took that sorcerer's fireball in the face. My fingers just get excited. Like my right hand has just got so much to do, and my left hand gets lonely, feels neglected. It just hits that space bar. It just affects me. Much better, much better that time. I'm thinking I'm going to stick with Whisper. King Slaker! Keth the Crawler. Let's see how well we can do against Keth the Crawler. It would help if he had stayed inside my range, but whatever. Yeah, I do much better with this sword. Chapter complete. Max should be the final sword. Let's look at it. Dark Star. Rapacity summons a host of slavering soul worms who eagerly burrow into the opponent's flesh. Uh, okay, I'll give it a try. Where walk the damned? The cursed spirits of Varka, once the noble captain of the Spear Legions of Dith, stand steadfast within the city's ruins. If he denies you passage, you must cut your own path. Let's try out these worms. Whoa, right off the bat. Surrey Cutlish. Thundertooth. Let's see how well Thundertooth does against me. Oh, this is such a slow blade in comparison to Whisper. Got him down to almost half, though. It's very powerful. Ah, not the space bar. Space bar is not block. What are you doing? I'm going to have to hit this right away. Okay, the overhand swing with the heavy swords, no good. Doesn't work. Don't do it. Yeah, this is a gauntlet. Sorry, the pox. Underhand swings, underhand swings. Oh no. I might not survive this one. I seem to recall cutting it close last time, too. Oh yeah, this guy's crazy. Mm-hmm. Not gonna work. Soul worms, please! Ah, damn it. Okay, we're going back to Whisper. Yeah, I know. We got all the swords. Favorite blade, right here. Uh, didn't this level with the boss? Underhand, underhand. Overhand is for long distance. Underhand is for short distance. I'm still taking damage. Stop it. Mm, 
lighten up. Ooh, I'm glad that blew up when it did. Here it goes. This is such a cheap sword. I don't care. The Age of Ruin. Atop the highest tower in Dith, void winds rage as the world-devouring Ma approaches. Before you, blade in hand, sits the Sable King. Sweep aside his void-chosen guard. Okay. No, that is bullshit. It went right through his goddamn head. Uh, what the fuck? Those invulnerability frames are complete bullshit. Wow. Damn. The Armageddon Throne. As the devouring Maw arrives, two kings duel for the fate of the world. Lay waste to the Sable King and banish the Void from this planet. Here we go. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Whoa, no, bullshit. Forgot that he does that. Okay. Ah, mistimed again. Bullshit. Swing, you motherfucker. There we go.
Worlds are born of roiling void and challenging the emptiness of the cosmos they drift away into being. So remarkable the souls and memories they harbor. Fragile are they who billow in the winds of fate. Worlds stand stark and stern, their songs allure for the hungering void who always finds a way. Worlds are born, they live and are forgotten and lost until they are not. So unfurled the tale of a champion on an earth that would not perish, but would sing eternal. Infantless King. Space whales. And that was the campaign of the God of Blades. I cannot imagine playing that on your phone. It was aggravating enough on the keyboard. I should have hooked up my Xbox pad. Okay, so uh, next time we'll take a peek at some of these other things and go to the Plane of Blades and do all the reading. So, see you then.